today our topic is inverse of a square matrix. So we all know that matrix is the arrangement of numbers and rows and columns within the bracket. So today we are going to calculate the inverse of a square matrix. So basically let me take a, a problem. This is a square matrix A. So we are going to calculate the inverse of this particular square matrix A. And the inverse is denoted as A to the power of minus 1. So there is a formula to calculate the inverse of a square matrix which involves 5 steps. So the formula is adjoint A divided by determinant A. We all know how to calculate the determinant. Determinant A is just eliminating the i row and column and just calculating the value. So the first step is you have to calculate adjoint A. The second step is you have to calculate The first step is to calculate determinant A and the second step is adjoint A. So adjoint A how will you calculate? You have a formula for that. Adjoint A is cofactor A and its transpose. So, transpose of cofactor A will give you adjoint A. Now, the third step is how will we calculate cofactor A? Cofactor A is minus 1 to the power of i plus j into minor of an element. So, cofactor A is calculated using the minor of an element. So, how will you calculate minor of an element? Minor of an element is again very similar to your determinant A. So, these are the steps in which you are going to calculate the inverse of a square matrix. But the way to solve the problem is you will be calculating in the reverse order. First, you will calculate the minor then the cofactor, then the adjoint, and then determinant A, and then finally find out the inverse. So let's start with the fourth step first. So coming to the minor of an element, you can have it in the form of a table, element, minor, and cofactor. Now we are going to take each element of the matrix and calculate the minor first and then the cofactor. So calculating the minor is very simple. Just you have to eliminate the i row and column and then multiply. The product of the remaining element is your minor. So the minor of 1. So I am writing the element here. Each element we are going to calculate the minor first, then cofactor. So how will you calculate the minor is? For the element 1, number 1, hide the row and column and then remaining element product. So that will be your minor 1. So remaining is 4 into minus 1. So minus 4 minus of. The formula is product of the first two elements minus of the product of the remaining elements. So minus 4 minus of 10. So your answer will be minus 14. So coming to the second, similarly we will be calculating the element of all the products. So this calculation we have already learned in previous class. So we can do it together, keep calculating the values. So hide the i row and column and keep calculating the rest of the values. So second element, I am hiding the row and column in which it lies and multiply the remaining elements. So minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 minus 5 into 1. So the answer is minus 2. And similarly for the element minus 3, hide the row and column in which it lies. So minus 6 minus 4. For this, hide the row and column in which it lies and then calculate the remaining. So minus plus 2. 
for the next element, find the row and column in, in which it lies, multiply the remaining elements. So minus one. So five lies in the second row and third column. So hide the row and column and multiply this. So two minus two, which is zero. Then for one, hide the row and column in which this number lies. Hide this row and column. Multiply the remaining. So we have calculated the minus of each element. The next step is to calculate the cofactor. So how will you calculate the cofactor? We have the formula for it. Minus 1 to the power i plus j into minor of an element. We have the minor of an element already. We are going to multiply it by minus 1, but to the power of i plus j. Now what is i plus j? Is which row and which column each element belongs to. Okay? So cofactor is minus 1. We are going to multiply it. by minus 1. This is the easiest way of solving this problem. So you are going to multiply with minus 1, but minus 1 has a power. We know that 1, whatever the power is, it's, the answer will be 1. But here we have the minus sign in it. Depending on the power, it will become a positive number or a negative number. So minus 1. Now look at the first element. In which row and which column it lies? First row, first column. So you have to add the row and column in which it lies. So 1 plus 1. And number 2. First row, second column. First row, third column. Then second row, first column. Second row, second column. Second row, third column. Third row, first column. Third row, second column. Third row, third column. Third row, third column. So this is the place in which that particular element lies. So based on this, we are going to multiply this. So how will you get the value? The simple way to solve this is minus 1 to the power of any even number will give you plus 1. Minus 1 to the power of any odd number, whatever may be the odd number, 3, 5, 7, etc. will give you minus 1. So if you have a simple logic in mind, you can easily multiply this. So here the power is 2, so the value is going to be 1. So here the power is minus 1, so it is going to be minus 1. So power is 4, so it is plus 1. Power is 3, so minus 1. Power is 4, plus 1. So you keep writing the value of 1 and then finally you will multiply it. So you can have this in brackets so that final answer of cofactor you can write it there. powers of 1 which has even even powers, you will have plus 1. When the power is odd, you will have minus 1. Now multiply this 14 with this 1 and finally you can write the cofactor. So minus 14 plus 2 minus 10 into 1 minus 10 minus 4 into minus 1 plus 4 2 into 1 2 0 22 into 1 plus 22 minus 4 into minus 1 4, 10 into plus 1, 10. So these are the cofactors. So we have completed minus and cofactor. Next step is which is simple. We should just calculate the adjoint. So what is an adjoint? This cofactor, its transpose is called as the adjoint. So first write all the cofactors in form of a matrix and write the transpose. So what do you mean by transpose? Transpose is nothing but changing the interchanging the rows into columns and columns into rows. So I am going to write the cofactor first and interchange them. That will give me the adjoint. So write the cofactors. Minus 14, 2, minus 10, 4, 2, 0. 
22 4 10. So this is my cofactor A. So cofactor A. Now I want adjoint A. Adjoint A equal to cofactor into transpose. Just you are going to interchange the rows into columns and columns into rows. So this is the first row, make the first column. Minus 14, 2, minus 10. Second row, convert it as second column. 4, 2, 0. And third row, convert it into third column. 22, 4, 10. So this is your adjoint A. So finally, we have reached this step, adjoint A. And the last step is calculate determinant A and divide it. So last step is calculate determinant A. So for calculating determinant A, we already know how to calculate determinant A. So when about the determinant calculation you are doing, you should first change the signs of the element with which you are going to do the calculation. So I am going to take the first row and do the determinant calculation. So I should first change the sign. Make it as plus, minus, plus. So with that sign, Again, find the row and column, multiply the product of the rest of the elements. Then minus 2 into, find the row and column in which it lies. So 3 minus 5, minus 3 into, find the row and column in which it lies, multiply this. Minus 5, minus 6, minus 4. Now find the answer. Minus 14. 3 minus 5 is minus 2, minus 2 into minus 2 into plus 4, then minus 10, minus 10 into minus 2 will give you plus 30. Now the final answer is 30 plus 4 is 34, minus 40 is plus 20. So we have calculated adjoint A separately and we have calculated a determinant separately. So the final step, last step, your answer. Inverse of square matrix is adjoint A divided by your determinant. So adjoint A you have completed. So you are going to divide it by determinant A. That will be your final answer. Inverse of square matrix. So divided by determinant A. Now this is not yet over. You have to individually divide each element by 20. And simplify it, bring it to the smallest number, simplify it, that will be the final answer. So, the last step is inverse A equal to adjoint A, you have calculated, then you convert it into cofactor, then finally you have to calculate the inverse. So, inverse is adjoint by A determinant, so divide each element by the determinant 20. And finally, you can simplify and bring it to the lowest number. With that, we complete the calculation of the inverse. So, minus 7 by 10, 2 by 10, this can even be simplified into 1 by 5. 11 by 10, 1 by 10, 1 by 10, 2 by 10, minus 1 by 2, 0 and 1 by 2. So this is the answer of inverse of a, a square matrix A.